the newsman just said that uh, they're recommending people not travel on any of the roads in northern Utah at all until after Wednesday. <sighs> Today's gonna be interesting. Good morning, beautiful people. It would be just my luck that um, in the process of trying to escape a storm in Denver, Colorado, I have hit the beginning of that storm in Utah. The news downstairs at breakfast was predicting 100 mile per hour winds across I-80 and several semi trucks have already been turned over. On top of that, Salt Lake City is gonna get snow and a lot of rain. So I think that I have uh, found an alternate route that's gonna take me across the middle of Utah. <laughs> It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Taking a small break. The sunshine has come out momentarily. I'm in Springfield, just south of Salt Lake City, and I was checking the wind report thing again, and it looks like it's gone down a bit. So I think I'm gonna take my chances with I-80 and see how it goes. We'll find out if I regret this later. <laughs> salt flats i will say that was probably like the tamest the wind has ever been on i-80 for me like ever i'm pretty sure when i crossed i-80 in 2016 on the pilgrimage the wind was so much worse than that so <laughs> counting my blessings that it was like nowhere near what like the news media and the people at the hotel that i was at this morning were trying to make it out to be i'm sure that it's much much worse in other sections of northern utah but there's about 700 miles between me and home right now, and I just want to be home. I don't know where I'm gonna end up tonight, but we'll find out together. <laughs> and when I feel the wind on my face, all that ever was is a Oh
Good morning from Jackpot, Nevada. According to my phone, it is 38 degrees outside and it's 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Hopefully uh, the weather is as wrong about the temperatures today as it was about the wind yesterday. In theory, I don't, I don't think I have any passes to go over today. So hopefully I can avoid any snow or high elevations where it will get colder than what it's already predicted to be. Oh, I have 605 miles to do today. I'm doing my best to get it all done today so that I have a good whole day to recuperate before I have to go uh, to work and work an eight hour shift on Friday. So fingers crossed, I can get my butt all the way to Portland uh, before two o'clock in the morning. That would be, that would be nice. I'm extremely grateful that I have heat grips on the bike because uh, without those, I don't know how I would have gotten over all those passes in Utah that were snowing. <laughs> okay, I'm just dragging my feet at this point. It's like 9.30. I need to get my butt on the road. Oh, here we go. Embrace the suck. outside of Ontario, not Canada. <laughs> a little bit, about, about 380 miles to go. Thankfully the sunshine has come out a little bit more. I was playing hopscotch with a trucker on the road, which was super fun. He honked at me. I don't know why, but anytime like I wave at a trucker and they wave and they honk, it just like makes my whole day so much better. <laughs> Pendleton, 211 miles to go. We're getting there, one little, one little bit at a time. One, one little bit at a time, it's happening. I made it to the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have made it home from my 8,000 mile loop of the United States. More like 
7,929 miles. I'll put the kilometers on the screen for all of my non-US folks. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to say that it was an amazing experience. I'm so stoked that I took the opportunity when I did to do this trip. I took the opportunity I was given and I did what I could with it. I didn't put it off until later when I would have more time or the circumstances would be more ideal. I did it now. So my motto is that you do what you can with the time that you have now. If it matters enough, you'll make it work with what you got. I also want to give a huge, huge thank you here to all of my patrons, everybody who donated on Ko-Fi, everybody who sent money uh, during the live streams leading up to the trip. This trip would not have been possible without all of your support and encouragement. Just thank you.